time for me to go ahead and start preheating my Dutch oven. My coals are hot and I have my Dutch oven ready to go. The app that I use tells me for 425 degrees of heat, I need 10 briquettes down below, 10 up above. So in the bottom pan, I have 10 briquettes already there. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and get my Dutch oven ready to go. So I'm just gonna set it right here on top of that. So that's my bottom. And then I am going to, all right. And I'm gonna put my lid on and I am going to add 21 briquettes to the bottom. So let me go ahead and count those out. All right, so that's 21 pieces, and I've got more briquettes ready to go, so I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes because that's about how long my home oven would take to heat, and then I'll have my biscuits ready to go. And if I need extra coals, maybe if my coals are dying down, I have some additional ones in my chimney that I can just add to that. So I'll be back in just a few minutes to put my biscuits in. <music> Okay, so it's time for me to put my biscuits in. I've got my pitfalls on so that I can move my lid around. The coals are ashed over. Everything is preheated. You can tell by the steam coming off, this is nice and hot. So I just have my little pan of biscuits and here we go. I'm just gonna set them down in there and I am going to put the lid back on. These need to cook for about 15 to 18 minutes. When that time is up, I'll be done. What I typically do to make sure that the heat is evenly dispersed, I will give the lid about a quarter turn about every four to five minutes. And that kind of disperses the heat. And then I have extra coals, as I said, if I need them. We'll be back to see what the finished product looks like. <music> So my biscuits are done. They actually cooked a little quicker than that amount of time. So I always recommend keeping an eye on them. Um, all I have to do now is just to reach in, get them out, take them in the house. We're about to eat breakfast. If you ever have a second pan of something, you can have extra coals that are ready to go so that you'll have enough heat. And also just remember that if you are doing baking, that you're always gonna have more coals on the top, less coals on the bottom, and that creates that convection effect to get some nice and brown on the top and an even cooking temperature so that they're not cooking too much on the bottom. But I have an app that I'm gonna recommend, and I will link out to that also in this video so that you can see how to do that. Come back for the third video in this series that'll show you how to take care of your cast iron and clean it up and store it so that it'll last you for a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.